A vineyard has 145 acres of Chardonnay grapes. A particular soil supplement requires 5.5 grams for every square meter of vineyard. How many kilograms of the soil supplement are required for the entire vineyard? Does that sound like a practical problem if you owned a vineyard? It does. Dimensional analysis is useful in everyday life. You might not use it every day. I learned dimensional analysis in high school in physics class, and I'd have to say it's the most useful thing I learned in all of high school. We can do this. This is one of those problems that students go, ah, where do I start? Well, we read it. Let's write down the numbers, OK? So 145 acres. Got to include those units. And we've got 5.50 grams for every square meter. That is per grams per square meter. Everybody OK with that? You need 5.50 grams per square meter. The other thing that's given is 1 cubic kilometer is equal to 247 acres. I'm not going to rewrite that because it's just right there and nice. What are we trying to find? Kilograms. So we have three things over here. We've got this conversion factor that was provided to us. We have 145 acres. We have 5.50 grams per square meter. There's a typo in this problem. You see it? Is acre a unit of volume or of area? Area. It's not cubic kilometers. It's square kilometers. OK, I feel better now. Now the choice is, what, what's the thing we're starting with? We have to know where we are so that we can figure out where to go. Let's look at these units. This is just a single unit. This is a uh, compound or complex unit, a derived unit grams per square meter. There's more than one unit there. And then this is an equality, square kilometers to acres. Both this one and this one could be used as conversion factors, couldn't they? Re they relate two different units. This one cannot be used as a conversion factor. So the number that just has the plain old unit is probably where you're going to start. So we're going to start with acres, and then we're going to figure out what we can convert acres in to get us closer to kilograms. Yeah, maybe we should use this thing that they gave us. We could do acres to square kilometers using this. So we could go to square kilometers. And we're like, yeah, I don't know. Um, well, let's look at this. What's in here? Grams and square meters. So if we went to square meters here, which we could do because we know what kilo means. That might be nice. And then this allows us to convert between grams and square meters. So we could get to grams. Can we convert from grams to kilograms? Mm -hmm. This is the hardest part of the problem, figuring out the path. And that's something that you need to get good at to be successful in Cam 1A. And I can help you get better at it, but you have to ask. Now that we've got the path, it's a piece of cake. We just follow our pattern. We say we have one, two, three, four arrows. I'm going to have four conversion factors. I'm going to start with 145 acres. And I'm going to write four lines. One, two, three. Oops, I made them too big. Sorry about that. One, two, three. I'm still too big. Oh, well, four. Acres, square kilometers, square meters, grams, kilograms. Just copy them down. Mm -hmm. 
the units in the denominator come from the previous term. I want acres to go away. I don't want him in my answer. I want to divide by acres. So divide by acres there, that cancels out. Then I divide by kilometers squared, and that cancels out. And then I divide by meters squared, and that cancels out. And then I divide by grams. Oh, I forgot to cancel those guys. There they go. Okay, now we find the numbers. All units in place first, then put the numbers in. Square kilometers to acres. Well, that was given to us. One square kilometer is 247 acres. Meters squared to kilometers squared. Well, let's ignore the square at first. How would we do meters and kilometers? Kilo means what? A thousand, or 10 to the 3. So I'm going to put 10 to the 3 up here where the kilo is. But what we really have here is there's 10 to the 3rd meters per kilometer. And then it's squared. So the 10 to the 3 also gets squared. How you deal with this is kind of up to you. What I would do is I'd say, OK, well, 10 to the third squared is 10 to the six. So that's 10 to the six. But you might want to just multiply by 1,000 twice. Over here, grams in square meters, that's this other factor that was kind of hiding among those words. 5.50 grams per meter squared. And then kilograms to grams, kilo means 1,000. Kilos on the top, I'm going to put 1,000 on the bottom. 1 times 10 to the third. Any questions? Now, if you wanted to simplify and divide out some of these 10 to the threes, you can. Um, I think it's best to just do it on the calculator. How did you get that 1 times 10 to the three for the grams? Kilo means 10 to the third. Mm -hmm. And so instead of kilo, I've got kilo up here, so I'm going to write what it means underneath. And I just stuck a 1 in it, in front of it, to make it look nicer. This would be 1 times 10 to the 6. Because 1 times 10 to the 3rd squared is 1 times 10 to the 6. So on my calculator, I'm doing 145 divided by 247 times 1 EE6 times 5.5 divided by 1 EE3 equals 3228.74493 kilograms. Is that a reasonable number? Well, let, let me ask this first. Anybody else get the same number? Did I do my calculation correctly? OK. It's a big number, right? 3,000 kilograms. So that's like 6,000 pounds. It's a lot of stuff. Five grams per square meter. There's a meter stick. So for every square meter, there's another one. That vineyard is 145 acres. I'm not a real good judge of acre, but acre's big, right? It's a lot bigger than your yard, unless you live out in the country. So every piece of vineyard, this square, needs five grams. Are there going to be a lot of those squares in a 145-acre vineyard? Yeah. So we probably are going to need a lot of soil supplement. 3,000 kilograms. How many sig figs should that have? Three. Our starting number has three. Acres in square kilometers, that's not exact. That has three. This one's exact. This is not exact. That has three. This one's exact. They all end up having three. 
So for the first one, um, 145 acres, would that be exact? Because like, nope, no, no. You might be tempted to say that that's exact. Well, they measured it out. You know, they, the surveyor came out. It's exact. No measurement is exact. 145 acres has three safe faces. So um, we need to round in the tens place. We need to be careful. I don't have any space left. I'll, uh, I'm going to go. I'll go up to the very top. So we could put this in scientific notation, 3.2, and then we're going to keep the 2, but we need to round that up to a 3. 3.23 times 10, and we're going to go from here. 1, 2, 3. We're moving it three places, and that's going to be kilograms. 3,000 is a large number, large number, positive exponent. So we need... 3.23 times 10 to the third kilograms. Any questions? Yes? You said some of the conversions in there were significant figures. Which ones were those? It's the kilometers squared to acres, this one. You do have to consider that. That's not an exact conversion. How do you know it's not exact? Because acre is an English unit of area, and square kilometer is metric. Okay. And